Sean Sean Culler, yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's not Sean. It's Bayonetta. So it's, it's ugly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's always rocked that color. Like, no matter what. Every, I know. Every time you see him, that's he, my he internal plays struggle. That one. Whereas <laughs> Pink Fresh has gone from the Jean to Bayo 1 skins to Bayo 2 skins. Dude, he, has, he, has, he goes uh, Green Bayo 1. Yeah, lately. I like Green Bayo 1. Yeah, I think he, that one's really that's, nice. that's the one he's been rocking lately. The Bayo 1 <laughs> Green Bayo. See, the problem that I have is um, Red Bayo 1. I think that's ugly because the spirals that she has are also dark red, and they're just like a different shade. You know, she's got this like mute, like crimson on, and then she's got these deep, like red uh, specials. But like blue bayonetta, Oof. blue blue bayonetta one bayonetta. Oh, that's that, nice that's one. a really good one. Yeah, so we're gonna see the Bayo Ditto right now. Yeah. These guys go to the same school. I think they're both power ranked in their school. Yep. Kyra being number one, and I want to say Moniker's number four behind S Wasabi and Sri. Yeah, it, he, I think. Yeah, he's it, definitely behind Wasabi and Sri. So yeah, number four. So uh, Moniker calls himself a me sword fighter main, but he's got to deal with these DLC matchups. I know he's not a fan of fighting Cloud, and he's probably fought Tyroi enough to think, "Hey, I'm just gonna Ditto him because it's an even matchup, huh?" <laughs> oh, he tried to witch time the bullet arts. All right, show me. Show me up air. Ooh, back air. Nice. Uh, Moniker just stepping in with a quick 39. Yeah, I mean, it's Bayonetta, so <laughs> a quick 39 is a, a slow 39 on Bayo days. Oh, yeah. Is that all you got, though? And we're back in it. So, um, well, the Moniker has that quick 39. Tyro's Tyro got a 67. <laughs> Turn back and uh, try to avoid a punish on landing with that witch Ooh, time, but Moniker's yeah. not going for it. Now, Moniker's fishing really early. Yeah, two combo Tyro, and he's already at 104. It's just like, <laughs> oh boy, four throw. Oh, I can't, up throw. I can't even say how often he does his ditto. I know Ooh, he's actually the fought downer. Tweak in the uh, ditto and actually ended up losing the Tweak. But Tweak's Bayo is real. Yeah, because he plays with Captain Zack so much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is not <laughs> what he wanted to do, I don't think. And oh, he didn't pivot that up till, and now uh, Monica's got a chance to shine. We, uh, we're just a minute into this, and Tyro is just running like a steamroller over this one. Well, yeah, because um, it, we've had, look at this, he's gotten like four grabs and four combo starters, but only 64%, whereas Tyro has had like four grabs, <laughs> and he's at 37 on his second stock, so it's like, look at this, up the throw into, I'm going to chase you until you die. Yeah, these guys, back for the summer, we're going to definitely see them like every week, and Tyro is just so experienced in like multiple matchups to the point where I know he plays a lot online too, so he's, he's very experienced and just like how far he can take his combos on what characters. Yeah, really. And that's, um, you know, that's the thing that Tyro, like, really does well. I remember way back, like, last year in January, I played when Meta when he was picking up Meta Knight seriously. And um, we were discussing Meta Knight combos. You know, I'm just some no nobody who uh, barely, drown barely like, uh, got out of pools, you know, and he's this guy who, uh, you know, got top, what, top eight, probably. You know, it's Tyro. Right? And so um, he was just like, oh, yeah, I want to learn these combos. And I was like, oh, you want to learn combos from me? Like, he likes combos from everywhere. And that's, I think that's the cool thing. Yeah, definitely uh, just a well-rounded player who definitely wants to learn. Like, he definitely travels a lot. We saw him at Civil War earlier this year. Mm -hmm. And he's just, he's just going out, man. And uh, it's summertime. We're gonna, I'm sure we're going to see a lot more of him. <laughs> Moniker yeah. smart to not get the DI mix-up, but instead gets to trade with the back here. That sucks. So that's game one going to Tyroy in the uh, ditto on Palatina's Temple Omega. <laughs> you know. I, I, I'm I'm almost positive that's just a champagne thing. They just really like Palus <laughs> over there, which I um I don't like Palus Omega Palus. I'm with you, man. I don't like it either. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't like the way it looks. One and two. Um, if you play Lucario, you get bonked. You get head bonked on that stage more often Aww. than usual. Yeah, so so Lucario players shouldn't like it. And if you are a Lucario player and you somehow like it, then this is your warning. Go like to Omega Midgar. <laughs> yeah, like, you guys got a Lucario on your rankings, right? Yeah. Oh, we did. He doesn't. Well, he's on our rankings anymore. Oh, okay. He kind of fell off a bit, but he's still up there. Well, he's still good at the game, but yeah. he just doesn't like go to tournaments. Oh, he goes to tournaments, but he just uh, he hasn't gone to as many, and he's he's uh, declined a little bit. Uh, you know, he's still good, but he's not PR yet or anymore. Yeah, this game, man, it's got all kinds of players that want all sorts of different things. Mm -hmm. And so now we've got the uh, moniker comfort pick, Corin. I, I I guess he's thinking, you know, Bayonetta has combos. And I might get one of those combos <laughs> and then win. <laughs> but uh, you know what Korn has uh, familiarity with the anonymous moniker, and that is what we're seeing here oh in yeah. Game 2. If you, if you go to his Twitter bio right now, you're going to see this Twitter pop up on screen in a little bit. You go to that, his bio is literally, I like to use the side B. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good move on Korin. Yep. I, re I remember seeing Cosmos. There oh, it is. smaller. He got he got platformed over away from his uh, really really good read. Cosmos in Texas did like a tournament challenge where he fought this Pac-Man in tournament. And he's like, using I'll, 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 I'll beat him literally using only Corrin's pin, and he did it. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd feel so like 
uh, insulted that, I mean, that happened. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real. It's Pac-Man. <laughs> Pac-Man has legit just like minimal options against core inside B. It's no. like throw key, but it goes through the key. <laughs> like, ooh, his path is clear. Yeah. Clear. Moniker capitalizing on that first stock. And just before that, we saw Tyro actually utilize oh. <laughs> See ya. No, he's not dead. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, okay. Show, how path that show that clear path. Let's go. He's Moniker. the, he's the uh, same weight as Mario, but he, I think he crawls faster, so uh, he's going to take a little longer to kill him. Off, off the top. top. Yeah, there's a there's a real helpful chart out somewhere where it shows everyone's uh, killings off the bottom and kills off the top, and like, and then it's all on this like line graph, and you can see who dies where earlier and stuff. Man, Corrin survived. Me Brawler survives longer than Cloud off the top without limit, <laughs> <laughs> and off the side, and the same off the sides because he's the same weight as Cloud. All right, being so precise with these witch times, the whole set, <laughs> but not precise with these four dares. Definitely dropping that uh, kill confirm right there. Ooh boy. Okay, nice nair. And just no. the kill power off of Corrin, like he he, he gets. A few more percent, and he can get a good read and take the stock with a tipper. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, See, if, a I little mean, more percent. If DI didn't exist, that would have been it. <laughs> <laughs> if DI wasn't real. And that, that bite is such a good punish. I've seen like players like Ryuga in Michigan utilize that to punish air dodges, and it does, it's, it's so devastating how much knockback that ha has. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Especially tipper, man. Tipper. Uh, like, we're not tipper bite. The uh, 19%, the, like, the bite that isn't fully charged. If you just release it right before it's fully charged, kind of like DK's giant punch. Nine wand. Yeah, it, it, yeah, just like it's like a nine wand. It does more knockback. It's what? insane. I did not know that. That's disgusting. Yeah, it's really disgusting. Yeah, I saw it earlier uh, this year. Uh, take out its head as Ness, just because Ness is so light. It's such a low percent. It was like so sad. Mm -hmm. Like that matchup wasn't already bad enough for Ness. But we're gonna see a quick two zero coming out of Tyroy proceeding I, on the winning yeah, bracket. Yeah, quick game one, but uh, game two was a little slower. I, I think I think uh, Corn was definitely the right pick. He just uh, was afraid. Yeah, look at Tyro. He's having a good time. He's like, <laughs> Anonymous Moniker's complaining about this game. <laughs> yeah. Tyro's like, I don't complain about this game. I just stream quietly in my room and uh, listen to music and people pop through and I'm like, I'm doing combos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Moniker, he, he loves the gag. He likes to joke. He make, just make jokes about like how he's a, like a Project M player, how he's a me sword fighter main. <laughs> I don't. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm not a Project M player, and I'm not a Me Sword Fighter main. Um, I think Me Sword Fighter's okay. Like he's. I mean, he's obviously low tier. Obviously, very low tier. Um, worst character in the game, possibly. <laughs>